uses this to buy from him gold tried in the fire. Now this is heavenly gold. This is, this is the gold of the Word of God. This is the gold of Scriptures. It's not the gold that they talk about with their money and, their, and your income. God doesn't want to prosper your job. He wants to prosper your spiritual well-being. He wants you to understand Scripture. He wants you to understand the very thing that led himself and most of his apostles, in fact, 11 of his apostles, to gruesome deaths by people who hated the Word of God. And what we see in here, we're disrupting, we're disrupting the work of demons, we're disrupting the work of the evil one, we're disrupting the lies and deception. We're disrupting the lies and deception of the devil who wants to come and kill, steal and destroy. He wants to kill your soul, wants to steal your wealth, and he wants to destroy your faith. But Jesus Christ came that you may have life and have it to the full. That means life in Christ. And with life in Christ comes persecution. God said that all who live to live godly, everybody who follows him, all who follow the ways of Jesus Christ, they will suffer persecution in this life. But he says rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven when things shall revive you and persecute you for my name's sake. That's the words of Jesus Christ, that's what he says. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and we see that in you the way some people are dressed. It's not even speculation we see it, it's obvious, especially in summer. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life, pride. You know, it's all about you, you, you. It's all, you know, the, the pastors are saying, oh, it's all about you. God wants to prosper you. God, be you this, you that, you everything else. Be you. You have fashion parades. Be you. All this stuff. It's not all about you. It's not all about me. It's not all about your church. It's not all about your funding. It is all about God. It is all about Jesus Christ and His cross. It is all about dying to self, taking up your cross and following Jesus Christ, being willing to die for Him just as He died for us. That's what it's about, folks. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about the glorification of God. It's not about you. It's not about me. When you become born again, all things are passed away, all things become new, and you desire to follow Christ. You are no longer your own master. You serve the master of the universe, Jesus Christ, the creator, God. You serve him. You serve him. You don't serve yourself, and you certainly don't serve the bellies of your leaders. Folks, we encourage people to study the Bible. Read it. Read it. We would love to see you reading your Bible too. We would love to see you reading your Bible too. You know what the Bible really says? It's going to coin your flocks into hell. You know, the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abide forever. You want to do the will of God? Then read the Bibles and see what God says he wants you to do. One of the things he says is to go into all the world and preach the real gospel, not false gospel, it's to preach to every to preach. Go into all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So folks, we want to see you repent before the dead be saved. Because many are in these churches are not saved, they're not born again. Folks, we encourage you to read the Bible. There's the things that everybody is saying to you in here. Test all these things. Your mind of what's happening here is in the world. All the only you are the
The creator of the universe is recording everything. He knows what's in your heart. He knows what's in my heart. He knows what's in the heart of every person here. He knows the hearts of the police. He knows the hearts of the bystanders. He knows the hearts of the heart. He knows my heart. And that's why I say he's in your heart. Because he has the power of God. So put his soul in the hell. He also has the power of the faith and the rest of you. To bring you into righteousness. Into a right standing with Christ. He gave up his life for you. He gave his life up for you and you want to dream like a vending machine, you want to come to him and, and expect him to prosper your job, to prosper your home. No, that's a right of garbage, it's fine. You say that to put him in my apostle Paul was standing here today, he would be absolutely appalled with what's going on here. And he read the letter to the Corinthians, first and second letter to the Corinthians. The Corinthians had some pretty horrible things going on, and Jesus spoke out against them. He commands us to speak out against the prophecy. He commands us to speak out against those who are liars. He commands us to speak out against those who are teaching the You know, any man being compared to being Christ, as you claim, what is he? He's a new creature. All of you have passed away. The desire for money has passed away. The desire for prosperity in your life has passed away. The old all things have become new. You desire. To the Lord of Lords, you desire to study the scriptures. You desire the righteousness of Christ. You desire to die to yourself and to live to him. You desire to be a servant of the most holy God no matter what it costs. He did it cost you your life as it did the living of the apostles and many of the disciples. Take a look at the examples of the happening in places like they've been communist countries, people Islamic countries. Where people are being persecuted and killed for religious 